It's Monday and we are back with island life and our cottage renovation and we've hit a few snags. So we took a wee jaunt last week, Alex and I went to England to meet His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales and that was really fun but now we're back and we have some more challenges in our porch renovation. So you saw that we eventually ended up with tongue and groove for the ceiling. What you didn't see was everything in between that it took us to get there. Let's rewind and show you how we went from rough cut boards to tongue and groove paneling. We ordered rough cut and this is what we got. And as you can see, this is kind of more of a machine kind of roughness because it's very obvious it's not just rough pine. And then the other side is smooth. What was the plan, you ask? Well, we wanted to treat the ceiling in the porch to match the rough sawn boards with a whitewash finish that we have in the original cottage. But what we got was boards that are smooth on one side and varying degrees of roughness on the other side. The rough side isn't like the rough sawn we have in the main cottage. It kind of looks machine made rough and frankly, it's just not cutting it. So the rough side's a non-starter. We decided to go with the smooth side. And while I was in England, the boards got stained and installed horizontally on the ceiling. So they installed all the boards on the ceiling. Unfortunately, they don't look good. In fact, I think they look really bad. So this solution is not working. The boards aren't lining up properly. We tried to make do with the boards we were sent. What we wanted was rough sawn. We wanted it to match what we'd done in the rest of the cottage and what we got wasn't working so we tried to make do and you know what that was just a bad idea sometimes you just got to stick with your vision and do what you were planning because now not only have we paid for all the boards they've painted all the boards they've installed half the boards and honestly they just look bad i'm sarah and every day my life revolves around design this is my journal of what's happening right now in my world as a creator, an entrepreneur, a partner, and a mom. And I'm sharing it with you. So let's go. Today is another chapter in my design life. So what's going on, Chris? Uh, well, we've taken down the smooth sided boards. I think the rough side's better. And we're gonna make it white. But I think it just needs a quick pump sand just to take some of the super rough stuff off. I'm no interior designer. I'm no Sarah Richardson, but I've worked with her a while and I think she's going to like this one the best. What do you think? I'm glad you're no Sarah Richardson too. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get the sander running. All right. So these are the boards we're trying to make look nice. So Sarah's come up with some thoughts and as the ever resourceful woman that she is, she set up a full painting shop on our lawn. Plan air painting, baby. I don't know if this is working, but it's worth a try. One of the main differences between using a professional camera person and having your husband do the shooting is the professional camera person isn't distracted quite as easily. Let's see what the guinea pigs think of all this. Well, what do you guys think? Do you think that the paint shop is a good paint shop? All oh, those squeaks definitely mean good things. I think we're actually moving in the right direction. A cottage renovation is truly a family effort. Fiona has a level and she's installing hooks. Oh, gotta come down. We need this level. This is a quality job. To Whoa! Fiona is on the level. I am having a cleaning, cleaning snit. It's a snit and a half. What a snit? A snit means a snit makes it sound like I'm not happy. I love cleaning. Oh, nice work, Fee. I'll get the next one ready. <laughs> you're like you're just leaning in there, just having to lean. The hooks are perfect, but the ceiling boards, let's just say the guinea pigs may have spoken too soon. Hey, it's Sarah Richardson. I was going to inquire about tongue and groove boards. I'm looking for tongue and groove pine. 
wondering what sizes you have available. I've tried sanding them and it's not working. Uh, so the next step is I'm now making phone calls to the lumber yards in town to see if anybody has tongue and groove boards that are the right length. Not a deal. I hate wasting money. And wasting money is what we're doing and wasting time is what we're doing and another week has passed and we still aren't done and we are getting close to the halfway point of summer. I've got paint splatters all over the lawn. We've ripped down half the ceiling. Now we realize that basically the solution that we have here is not the solution. So now we're continuing to make phone calls. We can't find nobody, nobody, none of our local suppliers have one by eight tongue and groove in stock in the length we need. It all comes in random lengths, which is not helpful because we don't need a patchwork ceiling. We want 10 foot lengths and we can't get them. We can get six inch, but Alex thinks that's gonna look too busy. And he's probably right. We can't get the eight. Darn tootin' he's right. Can't get the eight inch. So now Chris is gonna call another supplier further away and see if we can get what we want. And we may have just wasted a lot of time in that. Uh, hi, this is Chris Gibson calling. Um, I'm looking for some 1x8 V-Groove Pine. Um, can somebody give me a call back, please? Yeah, 10 foot. They have to be minimum 10 foot. Perfect. Can you deliver to Perry Sound first thing tomorrow morning? Didn't think so. Okay, I will have somebody come by first thing and uh, load up her truck and... Does that work? Awesome. And you open at seven. We got it. Phew, that's a good omen. Kind of like red sky at night, designer's delight. Er, well, dog's delight too. you come bearing treasure. Okay, so the new wood for the ceiling has just arrived and we're gonna unload all of it and try and stain it and get it installed all today. Possible? It took them three hours to get out the channel and it's after one o'clock. Kind of not super awesome, but we're gonna do our best. has arrived with the rest of my painting crew. We have a team working. We've got painters working inside and the carpenters are working inside. And we are setting up our paint studio out here. So we've decided to move to tongue and groove boards that we're gonna run vertically up the ceiling. And this is my custom mix uh, with the occasional small bug in it. And this is a half and half mix of our white paint with water. So it is really drippy and watery. Okay, Fee, you ready to take a try? Okay, so the key is, first, you get the bug out. One bug was harmed in the making of this segment. And then I'm gonna hold this for you so you can do along the side. Not too hard, super soft. Yep. Anyone ever say that you two might look a little bit alike? No, nobody's ever said that. You know, nice painting dress. Thank you. I anticipate you're gonna be covered. Okay, keep going. Okay, now do this side. I'm gonna do just this little bit. So we just wanna roll it. We, want, we don't want too many drippies. But the good thing about when you're working with tongue and groove is if you paint the tongue and the groove, it means that when the boards shrink, it won't be noticeable. Wolverines for this segment. The Wolverines, if you take those down, they scare the snakes away. They're supposed to scare the geese. They don't scare anything. They just look really ugly. What about you two? Eh? Are you scared by the Wolverines? What do you think? So this is really, really wet. The key with this kind of translucent treatment is that you have to work quickly. 
because what we don't want is we don't want to see any roller marks or brush strokes or anything else. Now, Fee, I'll reload this. You want me to show you what you need to know about doing the main board? Yes, please. Gotta run. It's like the Paint Olympics because we don't want it to dry. We want it to be a very smooth finish with no seams. Okay, so now start at the top, even like this. And don't worry about the t-shirt. It's a painter's shirt now. And then you just want to make sure but see how once you roll and then you go back, there's a little seam that happens? Mm -hmm. You have to get around a box. I'll take that for you for a sec. Like this, all the way to the end. Nice long strokes. And then you know what you do at the very end? Go back. Nice. And come back to me. Perfect. Woo, done. So in case you're wondering, this is not a stain we're using. This is literally paint. This is white semi-gloss paint that we have cut 50% with water. This is just a 50-50 paint water mix, which makes it super thin. We realize we have a lot of boards to paint, so now we have this system. Bree, yeah, here's sorry. your brush. Thank you. We have a sponge brush. We have a sash brush. And I've got the roller. Oh, I want to try the roller. Can I try the roller? Sure. Okay, I'm a good Are you going to get paint on my skirt, though? No, it's okay. Wait, wait, wait. You have to wait. You have to be patient, Robin. Till the time is right. No. Yeah, so what you do is don't push too hard. Yeah, and then you have to get it fully covered. Careful, careful. You're gonna get green all over your favorite tank top. Green, don't you? Did you? No. You mean I white? You got it on your skirt, though. <laughs> <laughs> what is Whose jean skirt is that? Uh, okay, move. Sister move. painters. Move. 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 You're not supposed to paint the other Oh, one. yeah. Oh, yikes. Um, I'm, okay, I'm trying to film. Okay, yeah, here, trade back. Somehow we made it through the painting. Oh gosh. Oh, I'm loving the new grass decor. Everyone worked really hard on the island and we had a great day. And then the guinea pigs got out. But that's another story. <laughs>